to be honest, I was not going to go to camp. Um, I didn't really want to go because just, I don't know, I was just not really feeling it for real. Like the first few minutes, it was like weird, like not having my parents there. But then afterwards, like I made friends like pretty quickly on the bus. So I was very skeptical at first because of what you hear about church. You, know, you hear a lot of bad experiences um, from different people or... Seeing other people's experiences made me kind of want to change like how I've been acting around like my family and stuff. And I was ready for something different in my life because I've just been doing the same thing day in and day out and I was ready to do something different, to do something better with my life. I'm really glad that I did go to camp because he just truly showed me like who he was. I was just so hungry and I'm like, God, like I need you. Like I need a change, I need a renewal, I need to see more of who you are. So that's when I decided to go to camp. I always grew up with him there, but I never, like I know, always known he was there, but I never really felt him there. As mentioned before, I know I was never religious. People talk about Holy Spirit, all that. I'm thinking this isn't real. This is, it's, they just, they're over exaggerating a feeling of hope or whatever. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> so throughout the nights of service, I was at the altar, I was crying, but it didn't, it what didn't really happen until like the third service. Was it baptism in the Holy Spirit? Where I really got baptized in the Holy Spirit. It happened when we were at worship, like when we were doing worship. Like I felt like his presence and I felt him like touch my head and my arm. You know, he put his hand on my back and was like praying over me. It's like when you get rid of something that was holding you back, when you have something you need to get off your chest, but I didn't have anything to get off my chest. And when he left, it was like I had that relief inside of me. And then I want to say the second or third night just kind of switched everything because it was like, like I could do like anything at the moment. I found myself on the floor crying, like on my knees, actually just like surrendering my all to him. And I just started saying things out loud, like God, like I don't understand this, but Lord, I trust you. God, like heal me, Lord. That's just, you know, that's God speaking to you. That's God letting you know that he sees you and he wants you to be a part with him. That whole experience changed everything for me because then that's when I was like, okay, there's something there. It wasn't. I still didn't really feel 100% at that point, but I felt 99% sure. When I pray, I'm actually knowing I'm talking to somebody instead of like just like just talking and seeing whoever hears me, hears me. And then on the next night, it happened again. And that's when I knew that it was, that's when I knew that this is not just something that's made up. This is, there's something there. There's a reason why there's all of this for him and I'm so glad I can be a part of it. He truly showed me more of who he was, more of like what he was about. And he allowed me and helped me to learn how to be more vulnerable, learn how to open up. And he just showed me how like I am forgiven, I am healed, like he loves me, I'm so worthy. And at camp, I just seen so much of like how he was, like how he is so worthy, how he is just so much bigger than all of my problems and anything that I feel like can overcome me or just stuff like that. Well, before, like, I'd always known he was there, and now, like, I've actually felt him there. So I feel like I believe in him more than I did before. And so that night, you gave your night to the Lord, right? You yeah. To Christ, so. I made that decision because I was ready for a change personally in myself. S satisfied and hope is what I felt in life and had suffering, you know, from CPTSD and you know, um, depression, you don't really have those moments. And the fact that I've been having them for multiple days in a row is, it's amazing. What would you say to someone who's not sure about going to camp, but they don't know anybody and they're young, or what would you say? They should go to camp. They should go to camp. <laughs> well, overall, it's a really fun experience and you'll get to know people. Are you can go to camp next year? Oh, I'm definitely going to camp. I would definitely say go to camp. Whatever you're doing, go to camp. Go to camp.